r slash ask reddit by reddit and chill. Pharmacists of reddit. What's the most stupid things you've seen people do because of coronavirus? Using condoms to touch door handles and elevator buttons. Instructions unclear. Dong stuck behind door handle. One of my friends works in a pharmacy and for a major national chain. In addition to people trying to stockpile prescription meds. This past week alone she said she has seen people. Ask if they can get packs of Tamiflu. Without going through insurance or a doctor. Which would be insanely expensive anyway. Ask when they can schedule another flu shot to dose up to prepare. Complaining to her about them not wearing masks at the pharmacy. To which she replies that masks are actually primarily for infected people. And they lose their shit in response. People complaining to her that there aren't more masks to stockpile in the first place. Ask if they can get packs of Tamiflu. Without going through insurance or a doctor. Which would be insanely expensive anyway. Obviously Tamiflu. Or any antiviral and antibiotic we currently have on the market isn't going to work on COVID-19. But just to clarify Oseltamivit. The generic for Tamiflu actually isn't that expensive anymore. It's maybe around $30 out of pocket unless the pharmacy is trying to price gouge you. Not cheap, but better than the $250 300 for brand Tamiflu. Generics are seriously a lot cheaper and in pretty much 99% of cases it's just as good as the brand. Except for those allergic to specific non-active components in the tablet's capsule suspension etc. Not a pharmacist. But a ward clerk on a hospital. A lady told me that she was told by her manager to self-quarantine for two weeks because her mother was in hospital. But. Her mother was in hospital recovering from a planned. Elective hip replacement. This lady was delighted to spend time with her mum in hospital. As it's a work directive they pay her without needing to dip into leave or sick pay. But horrified at the unnecessary fear that people are spouting. It matters less the specific reason her mother's in the hospital than the fact that she's spending time at the hospital at all. This self-isolation direction is cautious but kind of reasonable. It's already been stated. But the main thing is people wanting multiple, illegal, repeats of their meds in case they need to stockpile them. The number of people getting visibly upset that we won't do this for them is saddening. Mum. Please just give me like 5 bottles of perk 30s I gotta prepare for the apocalypse. We've been out of masks for a month. This is not all that special because that's how it is everywhere. We're also out of hand sanitizer. Which. Again. Is not special. What's weird is we are out of isopropyl alcohol and aloe gel. Because people are trying to DIY their own hand sanitizer. I had a woman come ask me if she could substitute witch hazel for alcohol since we were out. Gonna say that's probably a no. Other interesting tidbits. Our script volume has increased by at least 100 per week due to stockpiling that others mentioned. Saw a lady with 15 bottles of bleach in her basket. Like the gallon size jugs. The cold and flu section is basically non-existent at this point. We still have some zinc. But that's not gonna do a damn thing. At least one person approached the counter and, upon being told we were out of the usual requests, asked if he could purchase antibiotics. Prescription only where I live. My store had a sign up limiting customers to 6 soaps per purchase due to high demand. Imo that's still a little much. Tito's handmade vodka had to put out a press release a couple days ago telling people not to use fire vodka to make DIY hand sanitizer because. No. Just no. It's not strong enough. Hand sanitizer needs to be 60% alcohol and Tito's is only 40%. Here in Australia two people were fighting over toilet paper. So the police had to get involved and tasered them. I saw an Aussieman, maybe Aussieman, video yesterday of that happening. Reminded me of the way people get in Florida before hurricanes. I work in pharmacy and we've had people insist and argue with us about purchasing the giant communal hand sanitizer we have behind the dispensary for the staff. I wonder how people can be that stupid. Man. The crazy demand for sanitizer has literally become a public danger in Germany sold out in all stores. Stolen from some hospitals. Supply is running out. Professionals, medical and cleaning, that actually need it are worried. All for nothing. Use ducking soap. Scrub for 20 seconds and rinse properly. 
Not a pharmacist. A carpenter. I wish people would stop buying all the ducking dust masks. They will do nothing to stop any virus. They stop particles. You're wasting money and endangering my health. Went to Home Depot the other day to buy some dust masks. I'm doing some work with some lovely cedar that came down this winter. They have had so many people stealing the dust masks that their inventory was off by like 20%. Not understanding that insurance will not give you 6 months of meds up front. Not understanding basic hand hygiene. Not understanding most masks will not protect you from the virus. And my exchange yesterday. No we don't have masks and gloves. Yes they are all made in China. No it's not a Chinese diabolical plan. Sure stuff should be made in America. Yeah like the president said. Okay mom have a good night. No it's not a Chinese diabolical plan. Somewhat related. I just had a co-worker honestly tell me that Big Pharma created the virus to profit from treatments and such. I was shocked at first and then remembered that quote that goes something like think of how stupid the average person is. And realize that half of them are even stupider than that. I'm not pharmacist. But I work on a dairy farm. Hang on. Hang on. It's related. We vaccinate our calves against bovine coronavirus, BCO, at birth with a vaccine containing the killed virus, marketed as calf guard or scour guard 4KC. As I was vaccinating our newest little bull calf, I had the thought. I wonder if someone, somewhere, had the novel idea to dose themselves with veterinary vaccines yet to try and prevent the coronavirus. People can't be that stupid. Right? It turns out they have. And they are. And it may seem like a good idea at the time. But BCO is different from COVID-19 and can't be transmitted to humans. So it won't work as the body won't recognize the antibodies in the cattle vaccines. Forgive me if my information is incorrect or very vague. I'm trying to remember what our veterinarian told us. At worst. It can cause an adverse reaction. At best. It's wasting the resources that farmers and veterinarians need, and that stuff is expensive. Also a result of people thinking that COVID-19 is the coronavirus. There are lots of coronaviruses. And we've been catching colds from them for years. SMH. The whole toilet paper thing. I went grocery shopping the other day and I'm in a town that isn't threatened by coronavirus. Barely any toilet paper left on the shelves. I truly don't understand it because what the duck is toilet paper gonna do about the coronavirus? They're preparing for self-quarantine. If you get the virus and can't leave for two weeks, you're going to want TP. Pharmacist at a Canadian hospital here. We're being threatened with I'm not paying. My drug plan needs to pay. Even though I'm 63 days early out of 90 days, I'm going to contact my member of parliament. You'll be hearing from them. Asked this earlier when I slid out to the pharmacy. I have an icky cold, yes it is only a cold, and opted to grab up some menthol stuff. The person serving me laughed and said that it was odd. The advice is to wash hands and not buy all the masks and stuff. Yet all the masks are gone. All the gloves are gone. All the condoms are gone. They don't stock hand sanitizer. But they still have a full wall of soap and hand wash and stuff that has barely been touched. I had this same experience. I was just out of soap in one of my bathrooms and expected to not be able to find any and settle for using the extra soap I have that I hate but lo and behold the entire soap section was nicely stocked and untouched. I was at the pharmacy today and everyone was coughing in the candy bowl. Coronavirus or not. Open candy bowls sounds like a bad idea in general. So the major source for the US pharmacy system is China. China is returning to normal manufacturing capacity. Google.com link and source equals web and RCT equals J and URL equals SCMP.com link and VED equals 2 ue 0 tjck evoax we 54 khuevc 2 kfjajag kibraban usg equals aov 4 2 yqbl oxb 3 bdw 7 v 4 The US has not hit a peak in this pandemic yet. But there will be resources available since it looks like this is hitting more like a wave than a blanket. Even though China is a major source of manufacturing. They are not the only source for goods. Supply chains are complex though. And this is still playing out in China. 
they could be forced to have additional mass quarantines if infection rates start spiking again. Point being no one can accurately predict how this will play out. The closest prior event is the Spanish flu in 1918 and the world is a very different place than it was then. It's certainly not the end of the world but there will be impacts. My pharmacist licked her finger before picking up my script yesterday. That seemed pretty silly. Probably was the pharmacy clerk not the actual pharmacist who did that. Smash a corona bottle while shouting. I don't want your virus. I damage corona the beer is taking a huge hit in sales because of corona the virus. The gloves are a reminder that your hands are disease carriers. I have worked in a microbiology department in a lab. I would only touch my face when I had just washed my hands and never with the gloves on. Ever. Live on a pretty much isolated island aside from the fact it's a tourist hotspot but no cases here now so I'm pretty sure there aren't many coming anymore. So apparently this lady wore some cheap hazmat suit looking thing to the grocery store. I saw people make DIY mask out of cooler water bottles. I work in a goddamn hardware store and I had a couple come in asking for mothballs, camphor, so that they could put thread through them and turn them into a necklace and wear them around their neck. Note. We no longer sell moth balls because they are carcinogenic. After I told them this and that washing your hands is far more effective and safer the wife turns to her husband and says I guess we'll have to buy them somewhere else. Grab 5 packages of water bottles because there is going to be an apocalypse. If you don't have 3 days worth of food and water at home, and other supplies needed, you probably should think about that. And even ReadyGov recommends bottled water as one of the best means to do that. Not a pharmacist, buying toilet paper. Haha. <laughs> That's just stupid. Who uses toilet paper anyways? Student pharmacist here. I really should be keeping a tally of just how many people are asking for masks and hand sanitizer. They ask so many times. At least 10 patients per hour do that. The stocking up on water bottle and toilet paper is also stupid. The weirdest questions that I have had asked is where the medication was manufactured. This is a pain to look into especially after it was bottled. Most of the medications are manufactured in China but that won't make a difference on the safety of the medication. And as other people haven't already said. When the patients asked to stock up on the medication past the limits. Like WTF Karen. We already converted you to a 90 day supply and we won't give you more for now. I feel like the most irritating interactions that I've had with patients is when they just start being racist against Asians and say that we shouldn't serve them to stop the spread of the disease. I'm not even Asian. I'm white and this irritates the crap out of me. I don't have any patience for the patients. In general. The coronavirus is being blown completely out of proportion by the media. Hell. The general flu has more spread and more deadly. If you feel sick. Just self-isolate as much as possible. People don't need to be making runs on every store for the gloves, masks, hand sanitizer, water bottles, and toilet paper. Misinformation is spreading way too much. What do you think about the situation in Italy? I was in Walgreens two days ago and the toilet paper and water were nearly gone. But there was an endless supply of Robitussin and other cough suppressants. I don't think people's priorities are in the right place. Aussies have gone crazy buying toilet paper, paper towels, tissues, wipes, hand sanitizer, soap, tinned food, nappies and formula and long life milk all because they think the supplies will dwindle to nothing. It's at the point that shops are selling out of toilet paper, hand sanitizer and tissues. People are fighting over the last packets and shops have put limits on how many people can buy. People doing that because of the virus are stupid. People doing that because of those people are entirely justified. They're not worried about quarantine cargo ships or whatever Facebook is telling people. Just that ducking morons are going to flock to the shelves and eat up supply and they have. Not a pharmacist but saw women wrap toilet paper around her hand just to touch something people gave her weird looks. I use a paper towel to open the bathroom door to leave. Have done this for years. And yes people give me funny looks. Not a medical professional but I had to go to the ER last night and overheard this conversation in the room next to mine. Man. 
I've been feeling real sick since yesterday I think it might be the coronavirus. Nurse. What makes you believe it would be that? Man. Well I went to a Chinese buffet yesterday and the Chinese people are the ones who started and are spreading this crap. The nurse acts very professional the whole time and does a flu slash strep test and a few other basic tests to see if it was anything simple. She came back later on and the second part of their conversation happened. Nurse. Okay can you list your symptoms again for me? Man. Occasionally fever. Diarrhea. Unable to hold food down. Shivers. Etc. Nurse. And this started yesterday evening after you ate at the buffet for lunch correct? Man. Yes ma'am. Nurse. So you have food poisoning. You got food poisoning from the buffet. Not the coronavirus. Ducking like and subscribe.